Hi, everyone. So as I've worked throughout the state this year, I've uh, talked to a number of people who had questions about wellness committees and wellness policies. And there seems to be a little bit of, not confusion, but misunderstanding of uh, what wellness policies are and how they can affect health and PE programs. So I'm gonna give you this presentation uh, just to inform you on wellness policies and wellness committees in Connecticut. And so I'll be addressing these questions. What is a wellness policy? How can wellness policy in your district affect your health and PE program? How do you find your district's wellness policy? Who serves on wellness committees? How are wellness committees informed? How are wellness policies assessed? And how do districts make progress on their wellness policies? So a wellness policy is essentially a law um, that says that local school district wellness policy is a written document of official policies that guide the school district's effort to establish a school environment that promotes, that promotes students' health, well-being, and ability to learn by supporting healthy eating and physical activity. So the local school wellness policy requirement was established by the Child Nutrition and Reauthorization Act of 2004 and further strengthened by the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act of 2010. So it's a law um, and it requires school districts who uh, participate in the National School Lunch Program and the School Bre Breakfast Program to uh, establish wellness committees and wellness policies in each school district. Now in Connecticut, almost all school districts receive that support <clears throat> and are required to establish wellness committees and wellness policies, but not all. There are a few districts in Connecticut who are not under that requirement because they're not part of the National School Lunch Program. The responsibility for the local school wellness policy development is at the local level to allow each school district and institution to address their unique needs. So the wellness policies are developed at each school district level. How can the wellness policy in your district affect your health and PE program? So wellness policies by, by the law are supposed to address nutrition curriculum, physical education curriculum, schedule time for physical education, and so I get that question a lot. You know, what's the minimum requirement in uh, Connecticut for elementary and um, middle school physical education? Well, the minimum requirement is established by your district <clears throat> through your local district wellness policy. Uh, it also addresses professional development for physical education, student engagement in physical activity, district policies regarding physical activity, marketing unhealthy snacks to students, and then it, there's also, um, it's supposed to address how well your district continues the wellness, wellness policy and makes it public and continues to improve. Wellness committees are formed um, by the superintendent or assistant superintendent of schools, and they assign a committee chairperson. And then once the uh, wellness committee is approved, the board of education approves the committee and approves the wellness policy. So wellness policies are designed to incorporate all stakeholders, um, including parents, students, um, representatives of the food authority. Um, and, and a lot of the wellness policy does have to do with uh, food service. Um, and I'm just giving you the health PEN, um, but also includes teachers of physical education, school health professionals, uh, the school board, school administrators, general public are all invited to uh, participate on wellness committees and uh, develop implementation and review and update of wellness policy. So the wellness committee is supposed to be a, a broad swath of people in your community who have stake in uh, the uh, uh, health and well-being and physical activity and nutrition of students. Uh, the committee writes the wellness policy and then the wellness policy is, is approved by your local school board. So um, I did a, a quick Google search um, and came up to the first one that came up was uh, the town of Meriden's 
uh, wellness policy. And so Mer Meriden lists all these folks um, and you can see from a variety of different backgrounds, uh, but also includes physical education teachers. Um, and this uh, committee is really broadly based. Um, so good job by Meriden. Again, it's public information. Um, and I was just able to do a Google search for uh, wellness committees and, um, and came across Meriden's. How do you find your district wellness policy? So you know, you're, you're, you're required to have a wellness policy. Um, where do you find it? Uh, you go to your school district website under the Board of Education Policies and the wellness policy should be part of your Board of Education wellness policy, policies. If it's not there, you can also contact your uh, school district central office. So um, going back to Meriden's wellness policy, um, it has very specific things in here. Um, it states physical education curriculum shall be based on the healthy and balanced living curriculum framework. Um, they state that they're gonna assess, uh, do psychomotor assessments in their PE program, uh, that the uh, cognitive domain of the student will be developed um, and that in high school, students shall be given written assessments to ensure understanding of skills and knowledge. And so they're, they're, they did a great job there in Meriden. They're writing very specific things that are part of their wellness policy that once adopted by the school board, it's up to the school district to carry out. <clears throat> it also assesses class size. I'm not, not assesses, addresses class size. So class size will be structured to ensure appropriate instruction and feedback opportunities. They also in the Meriden um, wellness policy uh, speak specifically to the amount of time for physical education. Um, so it says right here, uh, 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 shall participate in up to 30 minutes of structured physical education per week. Now, it probably could you know, be a little more, but they, they state specifically how much PE time for elementary. They also state that in middle schools, um, students shall participate in up to 94 minutes of structured physical education per week. And in high school, up to 235 minutes. So Meriden, clearly defines the number of minutes that students at each grade level shall have physical education. Wellness policies are under review. So part of the law is that every three years, the district is supposed to review the wellness policy. That time limit was that third year limit was two years ago, but because of the pandemic, it's been pushed off two years. And so now all um, local school wellness policy assessments must be completed by June 30 of 2022. So those assessments are going on now. And in your district, you may be uh, getting questions on, um, on some specifics uh, regarding your program, particularly if you're a department leader. Wellness policies are assessed by an instrument called the WellSat the Wellness School Assessment Tool. And I'll put a link to that in my email that will go out with this video. The WellSat um, looks at uh, nutrition education, school meals, school vending machines, food and fundraising, availability of drinking water in the school, and also the physical education curriculum. So here's a couple of pages from the WellSat instrument. Um, and so you can see there's a, a question on top um, the first question is, includes goals for nutrition education that are designed to promote student wellness. And then there's a rubric um, scoring from zero, one, or two based on how well the district meets that, that, uh, that question. So a couple other questions are, nutrition education teaches skills that are behavior focused, interactive, and or participatory. Um, it says all elementary school students receive sequential comprehensive, comprehensive nutrition education. Same for uh, middle school and same for high school. Nutrition education is integrated into the other subjects beyond health education. There's a written physical education curriculum for grades K to 12. The written physical education curriculum for each grade is aligned with national and state standards. Physical education promotes physical active, a physically active lifestyle. It addresses the time per week for elementary and middle school 
in high school. So these, the uh, assessment tool asks, does your, um, does your wellness policy address the specific number of minutes at each level? And you could see that uh, from my example from Meriden, uh, Meriden's uh, does that very specifically. Addresses the qualifications for physical education teachers, addresses providing physical education training for physical education teachers, and addresses physical education exempt exemption requirements for students. It addresses recess and addresses physical activity breaks during the school year, during the school day. Uh, joint or shared agreements for physical activity participation at all schools. It addresses physical activity as a reward and that physical activity not be used as a punishment. It addresses physical activity not being withheld as a punishment. So all these items should be in the wellness policy and assessed by this well set tool. So how do districts make progress on their wellness policies? So there should be ongoing wellness committee meetings that's stated in the law. Those meetings are usually published um, when, the, when they'll occur, usually a few, usually a few, few times per year, um, but they should be ongoing and continuing and published. It should include all stakeholders, including health and PE teachers. <clears throat> there should be an evaluation of the wellness policy every three years. And again, that's occurring this year. Make wellness committee meetings and minutes public. So the, the meeting dates and also the minutes from those meetings should be made public and the wellness policy should be public. And there should be in, in each district should establish building level wellness committees. So not only a district wide wellness committee, but a wellness committee in each uh, school building. Wellness policy evaluation is public information. So the evaluation for the wellness policy policies are being done now and the reports are due to the state this summer. And those reports should be made public. And in those reports should be a plan to improve your, your policy and improve your, your uh, wellness commitment um, going forward. So, and all that should be made public. Federal right rule language states that districts must make appropriate updates or modifications to the local school wellness policy based on the triennial assessment. So this is part of the well set, um, part of the well set um, instrument that evaluates and states right in there that you know it has to be public and it has to state how you're going to make progress. So in summary, uh, most schools in Connecticut must have a wellness policy and a wellness committee. Health and PE teachers should be represented on the wellness committee. Your superintendent or assistant superintendent forms the wellness committee and appoints a chairperson. The wellness policy sets the policy for health education, physical education, nutrition, and physical activity for your district. You can find your district's wellness policy on your website or through your central office. 2022 is the year policies are being reviewed and the wellness policies are assessed through the standard assessment form called the WellSAT. And this summer districts must submit their assessment of their wellness policy and they must make it public and they must make public their plans to continue and improve their wellness policies. So if you have any questions about wellness committees, and again, you know, if you go, start looking through your wellness committee, you'll see a lot in there about um, a, a food service, um, but I'm just talking to you about the health and PE side of it. So if you have any questions, please do contact me and thank you. <laughs>